December last year I had the uh, privilege and um, the opportunity to travel with Trokara uh, to Zimbabwe. Immensely informative and in some ways a uh, humbling experience of seeing uh, at very close quarters the immense work that Trokara and its people carry out in places of great need. Our visit uh, began in Harare, the capital of Zimbabwe, um, where we spent some time with the Trokara team who briefed us on the arenas in which they are operating uh, projects in Zimbabwe, specifically in the area of, you might say, survival. Parts of Zimbabwe are uh, very, very heavily and trenchantly affected by the El Nino effect, and climate change, and vast communities uh, throughout Zimbabwe are on the brink line of life and survival because of the shortage of water. In those contexts which we visited, Trokra has not simply gone in and imposed some kind of solution, but has facilitated and enabled local communities from the word go to decide whether or not they want to bore a well, to involve people in the hard practical work of preparing such boring exercise, boring of wells, uh, gaining the work of local builders, architects and so forth to build uh, the necessary uh, uh, features of a well and of pumps and of a dam and then of course to animate the local community with that supply of water to develop irrigate fields which they once used and of course to tend them so that they can produce uh, vegetables and crops in their climate. In that way you might say giving once again not only a heart, but a future to those communities. Hearing from them how a new opportunity, new life had been offered by Trokara and how Trokara had trained some of their locals in doing these things uh, in the arts of bookkeeping, of accountability, of engineering, uh, bringing people together who are engineers and of working as a community to shape and mould their future and the sustainability of their future. Another area of a need that they had worked, that Trokra has worked on over the years in that part of the world and still does, is on the devastation which has been wreaked by HIV AIDS on communities and families. Um, and we met with many of the people who, many people, men and women, who have suffered from AIDS, who through treatment have uh, been able to manage their condition and now have become counsellors to those who are suffering from AIDS. With the Lenten campaign uh, 2017 and the Trokara box, we have this simple invitation through whatever contribution we can make to make such a massive difference in places of immense, urgent, existential human need.